Andrew, there's been a huge amount of interest in the auction of the Union flag fragment. Why are people so intrigued still about Nelson about and the Battle of Trafalgar? Well, I think there has been a huge amount of interest around the uh, flag fragment. Why? I think Trafalgar is just a great story. Everybody likes a victory, and it's arguably the largest, most decisive victory ever obtained by the Royal Navy. And it has that very human aspect about it of our hero, Nelson, who is a very human hero. He has his failings as well as his greatness. He dies at the moment of victory. Uh, almost, and that is a story that just seems to continue to resonate over two centuries later. How excited are you about this discovery? I think one of the nice things about uh, my role is that I sit at the desk and there's not a week goes by where something like this uh, doesn't come in. Um, this, the flags, quite a nice story, Victory was flying three flags at the battle. Each one of these were carried um, at Nelson's funeral. There were 55 of, of Nelson's sailors and marines at Nelson's funeral. They carry the flag in, they're meant to fold them up. Uh, that goes well for the first two and then the third flag going in, the third, the Union flag going in, the largest flag gets torn up um, and distributed amongst the people present. And I think everybody relates to almost that I suppose it's a souvenir almost, but also a, a, a tangible fragment of their connection with victory and with Trafalgar and with Nelson. And these things have survived. And usually when we see them, they're tiny little, almost handkerchief sized pieces. So to see a section of the flag, uh, which is about an eighth of the flag, it's almost a, a, a metre square, is quite exciting. And do discoveries like this change the way we tell the story about Trafalgar and Nelson? I think um, discoveries like this and stories like this have the potential to um, inform and dictate and sometimes change the way we tell Nelson's uh, story. And it depends very much on what the item is and how people can uh, relate to it and what it can tell us. The National Museum of the Royal Navy.